I hear that there's hybrids out there. Hybrids. You know what a hybrid is? Some that's not normal. <laughs> Something that's like me in this universe. Something that shouldn't be there. It's evolving around this world. When you see motherfuckers jumping 14 feet up in the air. And doing a backwards flip and landing on her feet. Pretty fraction. That's not a fucking normal thing. Motherfuckers can jump over 14 high fences. 14 feet high. That's not normal. You can just jump straight up and over. They're not allowed in prison. Because you know why? They can jump over those 12 foot fences like it ain't shit. And they can run up to the speeds of 60 miles an hour. And bend steel bars with their bare hands. That's power. I remember Lou Ferrigno. I read about him. He was able to take a one inch bar and bend it end to end and straighten it halfway. But he was able to take a half inch steel bar, run it all the way end to end, and straighten it completely straight. With his bare arms and pure hands. <laughs> That's fucking power. There's monsters out there. And they're called hybrids. Genetically mutated from DNA. That makes them superhuman. Now, what are you going to do when you see a guy jump over your fucking fence? You got a seven foot fence and he jumps right over and goes, Hey, what you cooking? You think you're in your yard safe because you got a fence around it. And some motherfucker jumps over your fence. And standing next to you says, what you cooking? What are you going to do? And you can jump out just like that. Jump in, jump out. And you're like, what the fuck was that? Then I can jump over your fence, grab your motherfucking food, and jump back out. Now, I had some friends in school 
in junior high school that were able to jump six feet in the air. Six feet straight up. You know how to get those basketball rims that are ten feet high? They were able to just two of them. I don't know if they're still alive, but look them up. Jimmy Robles and London something. Uh, London, Montana or something like that. But uh, one was black and one was Mexican. But they were able to both jump the head competitions. Six feet in the air. Their feet would be six feet in the air. Straight. Jump straight up. Yeah. We all thought that was amazing. But now you got motherfuckers jumping 14 feet? Straight up in the air? And doing a flip? And landing on their feet? And bending steel bars with their bare hands. You, you can't put these guys in prison. They can bend the bars and jump over the fence and be gone. Sure, you can shoot them and kill them, but what's the sense of it? Let the fuckers go. <laughs> I'm like, hey. Power to you, buddy. Hey, just don't hurt me. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm proud of you, buddy. Good job. <laughs> yeah, good job, man. Good job. Wow. You did it again. Wow. Holy shit. You're my fucking hero. <laughs> you are my fucking hero, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> Damn! He was like, he was like, I could jump right on your roof in your garage. Do it! <laughs> hey, get my frisbee off the garage. Yeah, he will jump up on the garage and grab the frisbee and jump back down. I go, hey, when you jump down, do that flip thing. <laughs> Do a triple flip. And here you see the mama go, and land on his feet right next to you with your frisbee in his hand. Dang! Can I get you on YouTube? Because people ain't going to believe this shit. <laughs> hey. I ain't talking no shit, man. I ain't talking no shit. I ain't high. I ain't drunk. But there's motherfucking hybrids out there. Look it up. It's on YouTube. Hey. I'll tell everybody at work. Hey, it's been time. The internet. It's gotta be true. But yes, I seen it. I seen it. Guys in Africa. You get these fucking bamboo poles. And they put that motherfucker up to 14 feet. And it ran and jumped right over it. 14 feet. Look it up. Don't believe me? Look it up. I also seen this other guy take his fucking mop and stretch that and pull it over his eyes. You seen that too? He took a fucking Coke can or a regular soda can and put the whole thing in his mouth. Ah, sideways. 
Ah, I seen that too. There are some freaks out there, and they're called hybrids. Supernatural. You know what this is? This is my hybrid juice. Oh shit, there's, there's some in there. This was from last night. There's, there's some in there. Oh shit, get it, better get it. Get it, get it, get it. Must have been drunk when British that last drop. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. See it? You see it? You see it? Hey, that's gotta be clear. Look at that. See it? I like this new laptop. No. I just I just fill out a review for Best Buy. And I put on the review. You guys can check it out. I think I put it on Facebook, but I fill out a review for Best Buy about this laptop, this here laptop. And I put on the review. When I first bought the laptop, I had Best Buy run, or set all the settings, or run all the updates. And that was a mistake. Because when I got it home, and I turned it on, and it says, Updater Air. So then I had, they recommended that I reset all the settings to, from the beginning. Right, from open the box, ready, start, you know. And then I reset the settings and it, it's running fine, you know. But I also put on there, yeah, my whole weekend was shot. Thanks, Best Buy. But I would recommend this to a friend. And uh, from now on, you know, well, they, I told you before, they are sending me a new laptop. And I told them when I get the laptop, don't open it. And they said, don't worry, sir, we don't open all their customers' merchandise. When it comes, they're gonna call me. And say, hey, come get your new laptop. Even swap it. They call it a swap. I'm gonna swap it. Mine for theirs. This one here. It's, it's having issues. Web page cannot connect. No. Like right now, it's got an exclamation mark. It wants it wants me to. Uh, HP wants me to run a recovery disk. See, what does it tell you? It wants me to run a recovery disk. Why? Hmm, there's something wrong with it. You know, it's working fine, but the updater has an error. Best Buy, I don't know what they did, but I told them, hey, okay, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to give you 900 bucks, 650 for the laptop, 250 for the protection plan. I want you guys to order this laptop. When it comes in, I want you guys to run all the updates, make sure it's all ready to go. So when I pick it up, I'll bring it home and you can use it. <coughs> well... The technician that he at first the guy was a fucking cocky son of a bitch and really fucking pissed me off. He said, "Oh yeah, I thought we need to." They always say it's just take two to three hours, you know. But he did all in forty-five minutes. He did everything fast and cocky, you know. These fucking little rookies. And I said, "Yeah," he says to me, "Yep, yeah, it's all done. It's all ready." I said, did you run the diagnosis? He goes, what diagnosis? I said, the diagnosis. You know what? I hate these cocky motherfucking young motherfucking bastards, some bitch and motherfuckers. Every goddamn time they get on fucking line, they fucking click everything off. 
They don't even look at this shit. They all oh, get this shit out of my way. Yeah, get the, let's get this shit out of my way. And then they act like, what's your problem? Ugh. Someone smash it. Some goddamn smash it. What is your problem? What issues are you having? Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. I tell the technicians to leave that on there so they can see the goddamn problem. You know what they do? They fucking delete the shit and they act like what fucking problem? I don't see a problem. No, because you fucking delete it, you son of a bitch. See how mad I'm getting? I'm getting very fucking mad. <clears throat> I seen that. I seen it on uh, <laughs> internet. A guy puts his fist right through the fucking. Look at that big fucking. This is my small one. This is my big one. That one finger is the size of the fucking screen. One finger. Wait, I'm hearing nothing, huh? No. That's a big fucking fist. My fist is the size of my fucking head. Yeah. Big one. This is the little one. It's a cut off the chains now. This is the big one. This one is the power. Yeah. This one's got the fucking power. Yeah. Look at that. Fucking Hercules. I said to the guy, I said, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I hate when you gotta type this shit in. I said to the guy, I had the lady lead the diagnosis. And because I spelt the word wrong, he goes, What is diagnosis? You know, because I spelt the word wrong. And he's being cocky and smart ass. You know, He's like, what is diagnosis? And because I didn't spell it right, and I put it in there. Maybe I didn't spell it right, but the lady left it on there to show you what's wrong with the computer. I said, why don't you look into it? Update error. Oh, so he went into the history. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Once he clicked into history, updated history. Oh, 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 I got tap tap on my shoulder. Oh. It says no updates were ever ran. And it said air. Changing them in the markets. Uh, 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 uh. No, I don't like making fun of retired motherfuckers, but god damn it, man. Give me a fucking break. I told him to run the diagnosis, but he said, I already ran the diagnosis, everything's fine. And then once he clicked into this little punky motherfucking smart ass motherfucker, like the grumblers forgot their neck and choke him. <sighs> once he fucking checked into it, he goes, oh, 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 he says, I will fix this problem. Bullshit. He tried working on the motherfucking shit for two goddamn hours, and he could not fix it because the updater error. And then the fucking computer crashed. And then he said, well, he recommends that since I only had a laptop for one goddamn hour, to take it back. 
and tell them to fix it. I was like, can I fix it myself? Because I live 70 miles away. He goes, well, he says, once you uh, reset all the sands, I'll lose contact with you. Oh, he just did not want to lose contact with me because a cocky little bastard. Like, he knows everything and there's nothing wrong with it. But we did make a copy, you know, so it didn't make a difference, you know, to my libraries. And then he had me a uh, print page. It's right here. Shift, and right here, P-R-T-C-S-C, -C. print scene, print, you hit him, boop, like that, on the shift, or C-T-R, something like that, or A-L-T, one of those, only you hit them two buttons, and it'll take a screenshot. But it didn't matter because I said, well, we're done. And then I ran the reset. I reset all the settings. PC settings. Go click into PC settings and reset to original settings. I mean, reset everything. Don't just save your files because there's a problem in your files. Don't save nothing. Just reset from the beginning. From open the box. You know, right from the beginning. Go into an advanced, advanced settings. Reset the whole fucking thing and it takes three or four hours. Takes a long time. But I fucked up my whole weekend. Then once I reset it, you know, it's like it goes like 20%, 21%, 23%, you know, an hour later, oh, it's up to 27%, you know. A whole hour later, you know, it's 27%. You gotta go up to 100%. I don't think they ever go up to 100% because see, there was something wrong with the computer. It wouldn't go up to 100%. It didn't. Watch that. I think it was up to uh, 68% or 73% that did it. It reset it. It just shut off and reset it and. Start all over, but see, you didn't go up to a hundred percent. Why? Because it's got an air. Once it crashes, it's fucking junk. Yeah, you have to take it in, you know, send it, take it back to the store, and they get the little technicians, but I think they have to replace the fucking hard drive. Once the hard drive gets that, that it's scared for life. It's going to always be there. So no matter know what they do, no matter what you do, it's still going to have, see, it's, it still has affected. You know, it does, this computer does whatever it wants. I just want to smash it, but I don't, I got the protection. I can smash it and be done with it and that's all what. But I'm not going to because I'm not ignorant and I'm just going to get a new one then. They said it, it's going through the UPS, and it's coming from around the world, the other side of the world, and it takes like eight days, so they do business days, you know, they don't do weekends or holidays, and, but I talked to the UPS guy, and he says, that's bullshit, they run 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they don't they do holidays or anything. It'd be Christmas Day and you'll see a UPS truck driving by. So they're going on their schedule. You know, Best Buy schedule. Uh, it's cheaper. They do it the cheap way. Um, they don't do it the you know, advanced system way. we going to be there the next fucking day. They're not going to pay that high price. They always try a penny pinches. Seeger pennies. They counter pennies. That's why. But anyways. New one's going to be here by the 3rd. Well, shoot, today's the 28th. So, the 3rd will be...
Tosarn will be Tuesday. Huh, because tomorrow will be the first. There's only 28 days in February. So. Huh, only 28 days. Look at the calendar, dumbass. So. Huh, should be here by Tuesday. Should be there by Tuesday. But now I'm running a low on gas. You know, like I said, it's a 70 mile trip. 70 miles, 70 miles, it's 140 miles. And I told them motherfuckers, when it comes, they better fucking hold it for me. Or else I'm gonna want my 900 bucks back. Fuck, fuck Best Buy. I'll go to Staples. I'm not going through that bullshit again. Because I told them, I had them fucking order me a new laptop and they fucking sold it to somebody else. It's Christmas season, holiday season. The guy goes, well, I need one of them laptops. It's, my, it's for my daughter and she's in college and I need a laptop. I've been at all the stores and nobody has one and I need one now. Do you have any? They go, we have one, sir. But that's for another customer that we're holding it for. Well, did he pay for it? He's like, no. Well, I'll give you an extra 100 bucks. Give it to me. I'll give you an extra 100 bucks. Rip his tag off and sell it to me. And he did. He fucking did. They sold my fucking laptop. I'm so goddamn pissed. I was fucking pissed. Sold my fucking laptop. Well, this guy's name's Elvis. His supervisor's name's Elvis. And he said that this won't happen. He's going to make damn sure it's not going to happen again. I said, tell him, don't sell my laptop, man. I'm going to want my... They don't know this, but I'm going to want my $900 back. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Don't be selling my shit. You hold it until fucking payday. And that's going to be the 6th. I'll get my check on Friday. And I'll get some gas. And I'll come there and fucking exchange this piece of shit for my new one. Yeah. I still, and I should, I should tell them, okay, we're going to do a swap, but I want my protection to start today. It's been a goddamn fucking month. It's been four fucking weeks since your fucking parade bullshit. You're not shortchanging me on fucking one month. You know, I got the virus protection for two years. Now you're not going to tell me that I got uh, one year and 11 months left. No. I want you to start from the beginning. Because your technicians couldn't fix the problem, I want to start it over. Refund my money and rebuy this. Start over. That's all I'm going to tell them. I want to start it all over. I'm going to have to, because you have to run up their new receipt. You know, I have to run up a new receipt. And because. And Every computer has a different code. Um, the ski number is always be the same because it's the same kind of computer. But the model number should be different. The model number is see? Yeah, it just glitched. It just fucking glitched. 29 minutes and 48 seconds. Did you see that? It just glitched. That's a sign. I need to take this one back. Anyway, it's just been half an hour. It's been a half an hour. A lot to talk about. But, um, this is how I got fucked. I got fucked. Thanks, Best Buy. My whole weekend was shot. Last weekend was shot. Yeah. 
I picked it up last Friday, which was payday. I picked up, brought it home. And I said, update or error. We couldn't run no updates. And when I got it there, the guy you know, said that I had 15 minute free teaching time. And teach me how to use it. I heard this thing is voice activated. I should be able to turn it on with my voice. Yeah. He said, well, I can sell you one. No, I'm not sticking to my money in something that's already got. But, uh, because he didn't run the updates, right? That's probably why it ain't working. I don't know, but that's one thing I want to learn. And anyways, the guy gave me this laptop. I didn't get his name, but he did sign papers. I signed papers when we... He gave it to me. He had to sign papers. So his name's on that paper. Anyways, of course, he didn't give me a copy, but that guy should be motherfucking fired. But one thing... He should have had that laptop hooked up to the internet. He should have said, here, try it. Go ahead, play with it. Whatever you want with it. Sure, sure it's here. Internet, Ethernet cord plugged in here. You know, try it out. Are there any questions? You want me to show you how to run any programs or something? And when he turned it on, it opened. And when he opened it up and turned it on, the first motherfucking thing I said, where is my UCAM? He goes, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Don't play that dumb, dumb shit with me. I ain't fucking stupid. Where is my UCAM? When you run the updates, the UCAM comes on automatically. I said, you want me to take you up to these other computers and show you what I'm talking about? These other computers all have UCAM. Well, because they've been programmed into it. No. When you run the updates, it, it pops up automatically. It comes with the fucking laptop. The goddamn camera right there. He says, well, oh, this is what I'll do. I'll hook it up for you. I said, I asked you guys to do it before I come. He goes, well, calm down, sir. Here, I'll go on to the store. You know, a little paper bag thing. You know, I'll run the update and do it for you. So he goes through the store and... And it says camera. And he clicks onto it and it says camera. And you'll see the light is on, it's working. You know? I says, well, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about UCAM 5. He goes, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. But if you want, I can I can probably find it for you. And he's going through all this bullshit and that and whatever. I says, why don't you go to PC settings and click in UCAM. Why am I telling this guy what to do? Was he that goddamn stupid? Or is he acting that goddamn dumb? Let's go on the PC settings and click into UCAM. That's what they did last time when they ran my updates. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, 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 there it is. See, there it is. Look, it's on. I got it right there. Want to make a video? Want to try it? I'm like, sure. Here, I made a video. I said, this is a test. And I ran it and it worked fine. Yeah, it looked really nice and clear in that. But then, uh... I said, well, can you make a shortcut so I can use it? I said, why is this thing so blank? There's nothing on here. See, I, I'm looking at it right now. I got Adopt, Reader X, Connect Drive, Connect Music, Connect Photo, Dragon Notes, Evernote, uh, HP Quick Access, HP Smart Friend, Plinger, Snapfish, Entertainment, Games for, you know, yeah, all this shit on there. But when he opened it up and turned it on, it had nothing on there. I said it was all updated and all ready to go. Bullshit. The motherfucker lied. He should be fired. That's what I'm saying. Because if he would have plugged it into the internet, if I would have clicked onto that flag right there, I see, I see that flag, and try to run an update. And it was said update error. I go, what is this? What is this problem here? Oh, well, we can fix that for you. What do you mean fix? You don't need to fix nothing. You turn the fuck around and you use it. No, I don't want it. Take it back. You motherfuckers had me wait two goddamn weeks for some bullshit like this. 
I come fucking 70 miles. You guys fucked it up. Well, we're not responsible for that. What do you mean you're not responsible for fucking up customer shit? No. Take it back. You fucked it up and you're going to give it to me? No, I don't think so. Give me back my 900 bucks. We're fucking done. We're out. I'm out of here. Well, if you would, you can go take a look over there. Oh, you just want to keep my money, right? If you want, you can go over there and see if you find something else. And see, if he was a good man, he would have said that. We're so sorry. Huh? Go over there and see if you find something else that you would like to exchange it for. If not, we're just, I'm sorry, but we'll just have to order you another one if you want to keep this one. So now I gotta wait another two weeks. That's a whole fucking month for a laptop. I wait a whole fucking month for a laptop. You know how much I pay for cable? I'm paying eighty dollars a month for cable. I just fucking lost eighty dollars. You guys gonna give me a gift card for eighty dollars? I got fucking internet at home and I can't even use it for a whole goddamn month. Because you guys fucked up my shit. But I love getting fucked. They're fucking me and laughing about it. But see, they're getting fucked themselves because I went to seven. This is the seventh laptop. This one, this next one will be the seventh laptop. I believe this is the sixth one right here. But they're fucking themselves because we got four, 15 days for exchange. Okay. And they're like, why do you keep turning these laptops? I go, well, you get your people to know what they're doing. We won't have problems. I took one back because I didn't like the fucking, the, the way they, they made me look like Fuzzy the Bear. I didn't like that. And then the other ones that had fucking airs and, and green screen, green screen. It's like, you know, airs and airs. You know, I wanted something with more power. You know, then I got one with more power. Then it was too much power. You guys didn't know how to program it. And in three days, it crashed because you guys didn't know how to put web root on there. Yeah, I got a $1,000 laptop with a fucking graphics card. And uh, it took them three days to get the McAfee off. They got the McAfee off, and it, had a, it was open for viruses, and it crashed. Three days, and they finally got the web root on there working right, but it was too late. It crashed. So I took it back. I took it back, and I said, well, I want something that's not as... as Advanced, you know, so I got this one. I said, I started out with an HP Pavilion. I want to end up with an HP Pavilion. I seem to have best of luck with those because I like this, the camera because I do YouTube videos, I do karaoke and stuff. I'm an entertainer, and uh, I like it playing CDs. I got this one uh, HP NV and I don't play CDs. I didn't like that. And my lady goes, well, you can get a plug-in. I says, well, if I'm riding on a Greyhound bus, I don't want to have a laptop in this hand and a fucking portable player in this hand and fucking wires and shit. And I said, no, I want one device. Put the fucking movie in there play it. One device. Oh, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. Okay, whatever. I want one that plays your CD. So I told them, I said, hey, look, every time I try doing this stuff myself, and you guys try helping me, whatever, something happens, goes wrong. I said, well, next time, why don't you guys order me one to update it yourselves? You're supposed to be so fucking professional. And I don't actually talk to them like that, but I'm just mad and pissed off. You know, I don't say shit like that. You know, like fucking professionals, <laughs> you know? If they know what they're doing, why do they mess it up? You know why? 
Well, I got a friend at work. He says that uh, when you run updates, you got to be in a safe zone. Well, it says right here, though, HP smart friend, protect your data from bumps. So you can, like, I don't know, you can bump it while it's programmed. I don't know what it means. But it says HP protected smart. Protect your data from bumps. Hmm. So anyways, my friend at work, he says that uh, when you plug it in, turn it on, and start running all the settings, all the updates, you don't fucking touch it. You don't bump it. You don't disconnect the power line, you don't disconnect the ethernet cord, you make sure everything's running smooth and you leave it alone. So either they tried running updates without the ethernet cord, or they had a problem with their internet, or they had a problem with the fucking power, you know, um, power plug got unplugged by accident, or Accidentally hit the power button and turned it off, you know, or, you know, he says another thing is that when you buy a laptop, you want to run it on your internet, you know, this is your passwords, your internet, your home area, you know, secured area, and then you want to run it yourself, because, you know, them running at Madison, you know, on their system or their name, their password, you know, it can create a problem. Com you know, the computer is confused, like you're running in two different areas and it's like, well, hey, wait a minute, who are you? You know, they can shut down just like that because it's not familiar with the area or the place where it's being, where it was updated, whatever. So, there's a lot of issues that could happen you know, because, you know, if it ain't properly done, you're going to have problems. That's what happened. Updater error. I was going to ask a mission mark on it right now. It wants me to run a recovery disk. Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah, Best Buy fucked it up. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I'm fucking done. Yeah. Welcome to my fucked up world of computers. 43 minutes and 43 seconds. Time's up. Click. Ah, here we go again. Uh, click.